Welcome back to Innovation RC guys. I'm going to be showing you an awesome charger. This is actually going to be my second one. Uh, that's actually how much I really love this thing. And for the price point, you cannot beat it. And what is cool is 400 watts total. Uh, so you could do actually 200 watts and 200 watts or you could do 300 and 100. You could actually change the power outputs per port, which is awesome. Uh, so you could really have a lot of beef and power in this thing if you really wanted to. Why I am actually out here for a review video is because we're going to be testing out the DC capabilities. So let's continue with the unboxing. We have our manual, which is always good. Uh, and yeah, there's already an Innovation RC sticker on here, which means I already tested the charger and performed all the functions prior of this video, just to make sure that it all works. So we also have, depending on what plug that you get, I accidentally got the European plug, but that's okay. They still gave me a travel adapter so it can actually, uh, oh, there that goes. And they actually gave me an adapter, which is really cool. So it shouldn't matter uh, which one you get. I actually just have the black edition. So pretty much they're, the one that I have at home is gray. The one that was on the box is gray. This is the black one. So this is like the new and improved model. This so we see that we could actually charge 7S LiPo up to this. Uh, lithium high voltage, life batteries, lithium ion, nickel metal, nickel cadmium, and even lead acid batteries. So that is pretty cool. And this is also a DC power charger. So it has DC capabilities. But it's also a power supply, which is really awesome. And I'm going to be showing exactly how to use it. And hopefully you guys can learn a little bit from it. Pretty much, you see these alligator clips. They're meant to go to the actual terminal of your real car. But what's cool is that they made them into little adapters. So these are really 4 millimeter bullets. And what I'm going to be doing is this. I do not recommend it. But... Pretty much, we're just going to be adapting to the IC5 connector. Pretty much, you want to make sure that these are on top of each other, and we should have no issue whatsoever. Now, as you can see, it turned right on. All right, so we are at our battery. Keynote, do not do this. I'm just doing this just to make it work and just to show you guys. Also, do not touch these adapter connectors that I told you that you could just take off and put on. Notice that I have another charge lead with insulated uh, wires around it, so it does not touch my car or the other wire so keynote do not do this so we actually have our Ovionic 4500 for us attached and as you can see all of our settings are correct so what we're going to want to do is hold that down confirm and there we go we have a lifetime voltage just give it a second just because on dc it takes a little bit longer for the amperage to just set and flow meanwhile we'll look at our singular cell voltages which is really cool and most chargers do have this so that's not exactly the outstanding thing about this charger oh there we go amperage going up bam and we are dc charging with another battery so you guys do have the option to safely do this i'm just doing this just to show you personally it'd be four and a half millimeter bullets to ic5 if you have that connector Alright guys, so we're pretty much in my bathroom. Why? This is actually my whole charging station, obviously. This is normally where I charge batteries because we actually have a granite top. This is where I, I really prefer to charge all my batteries. Now if you could see, obviously the ground is going to be cold so it's going to influence a cold intake for when the charger wants to suck in cold air and push out hot. So that's why I'm actually in here. So we're going to be doing a little test of really pushing these chargers to the limit. Now, again, these are the same exact charger. This is just the older one I got in 2016. This is the one I got yesterday. So I'm really, really excited to test the capabilities. Yeah, that's right. We're going to see what we can do. So in this test, pretty much we're going to be charging this at 2C, 2C, and 2C, and the maximum possible capability that this charger can with a 6S LiPo. So we're going to be charging... 7400 milliamp at 2C, that's going to be 14.8 amps. So for you guys that do not know what C is, that's charge rate. So normally you're supposed to charge this at 7.4 amps. That would be 1C. 2C is whatever you charge at 1C times 2, 3C times 3, 4C times 4, etc. 
So we're charging this at 2C, 14.8 amps. This is level one. Level two is the five cell graphene 6.0. Uh, and we're gonna be charging that at 2C, which is 12 amps, 5S. And then we're gonna be doing 2C on the 6S. Then we're actually going to go up and see what this charger's maximum capability is. So 2C at 6.0 is gonna also be 12 amps, but we're gonna see the maximum capability. All right, now how to monitor the power out, which is also defined as wattage of a charger. Pretty much you wanna go out, we're gonna to go to our systems settings. There it is. Now it sees maximum power set. Now we have all these other options. So we're gonna be at maximum power set. As soon as I hit this, it's gonna bring up on this side too. You can split the power 200 and 200, or let's say we go down in this. We're going to go up on the other side. So pretty much I'm going to be testing just 200 watts. So this is what is gonna be out of the box, you know, until you change it. So we're gonna test 2C right now. And let's see if we can do that. Power is still set to 200 watts. 2C, 14.8 amps. All cells are nice. Now we're gonna wait for that to go up. Now keep in mind, I can actually change the wattage output as I charge. So we're pretty much at 200 watts, 12.8 amps. That's a lot. Already, you do not need to charge at 12.8 amps. Keep in mind that. So if we go down here, watch the amperage go up once I go down. So we're just gonna keep going all the way down. Let's give it another 50 watts. Oh, right there. All right, we're at 2C, and we only dropped 32 watts, so it's gonna be 232 watts that you need to charge this at 2C. Keep in mind, it's capable of 400 watts total, so we're all good with that. This side has passed the test. Now we're gonna charge. Let's see what we can do. Cells are good. Now keep in mind this is only 200 watts, so of course on the other four cell that we tested, it barely broke over 12 amps prior. It's not going to do maybe 11 or 10, but we broke 10 with 200 watts. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna wanna add. So we're gonna subtract from here. As you guys can see, 12.4. The more we keep going, the more amperage we could put into it. So let's see how much we can do until we hit 2C. Right there. 165 watts on this side. So we're going to be at 135, no, sorry, 235 watts on the left side just to get this at 2C. Again, guys, do not charge this at 2C. Only charge it at one. Make sure you stay safe with this. I'm only, again, I'm only showing you the capabilities of this charger. Finally, level three. We're gonna see what we can do with the 6S 6.0 at 2C. We're gonna see if this charger can actually put 2C worth of amperage into this. Now keep in mind, I'm also gonna be charging my phone just to show you that capability. Pretty cool. I think it's gonna use about seven watts. Here we go. See if you can do it. It's, it's not gonna do it 200 watts. So we're gonna see where it stops at 200 watts. This is pretty cool of an experiment too. I really, really like that you can monitor the wattage that you put into this. I think that's awesome. Let's see if we could break 10. Nope, we're at eight and a half amps. So obviously the more cells that you go, you're gonna need more wattage. Now we're gonna see what that 400 watts of power can do. There we go, we're gonna select and we're gonna start giving it some more power. All right, so now we're at 150, so we gave this another 50 watts. So now we're at 250 watts on the left side, and for every 50 watts, I'm gonna be showing the amperage. So now we're gonna go to another 50. Now we're gonna do 100. There we go, 12. Now we're charging at 2C. 
with another 91 watts of power left over. All right, so now we're gonna be testing out how much power we could give at the absolute most. We were at 310 watts on the left side. So now what we wanna do is put this at the maximum amount of amperage, 20. There we go. Let's see if it could do it. Keep in mind, never do this. Never charge anything over the single C rate. That's my personal opinion. If you want the most longevity and lifespan of your batteries, just charge it at one C, six amps. All right, it's slowing down. Let's give this a little bit more power. We're gonna, we're gonna give it another 40 watts to the left port. 14.6 amps at a 6S battery is crazy. Man, that fan just kicked in real quick. All right, now we're gonna go way down to zero and we're gonna get this maximum amount of power. We broke our 15 amps, which is ridiculous. Now at zero watts on the right port, 100% power on the left. 16 and a half amps, 16.6 .6 amps. That is crazy. Just for a six cell, this is gonna charge this whopping brick in like 15, 10, 15 minutes. That is not necessary. Again, guys, never do this kind of amperage. I'm only doing this just to show the capability of these chargers. I am very, very happy with it. All right, so now we're going to be testing the DC power supply function with one of two ports. Now keep in mind, we have our, we're actually going to be testing this with just a 4S 6500 milliamp. All right, and we're going to be charging it at 1C. So we're going to, select our function let's just try 14 volts just because it's near a 4s battery i like to run that voltage you know turns right on now we have the dc in 11 to 18 volts now it's showing it takes one tenth of an amp just to power up this charger at two watts so that's pretty cool so now obviously let's try charging my phone right amps go up to six tenths of an amp at nine watts when I charge my phone, and when I unplug it, it goes back down. So it's actually a lifetime uh, uh, wattage meter as well as an amp meter as you're doing the whole DC function. So that is really, really cool. So we're just going to leave that in for now. We're going to see if this charger can handle charging 6.5 amps at a 4S power, which is on average for all the RC cars that I run. I'm going to confirm. Our cells are looking good. Now, watts are going up. As amps go up in here, let's see if I could split screen this. We're peaking at 100. There we go. It's taking over 8 amps. To power up the charger, charge my phone, and the battery. And there we go. Over 6.5 amps, which is over 1C. So it's taken only about 136 watts just to power it. So let's say we unplug this. We're back down to like 131 because we unplugged our charger. Plug this in. If we really just need a little bit more uh, power, but it doesn't matter. It completely charges this battery at 1C, which is awesome. Now, obviously, if I'm running uh, 6S 6.0, it might go back down to 5 amps because obviously this is going to use more watts but that's okay. We still haven't peaked out at 150 yet. And plus we also have this plugged in. So there's a huge, huge capability with both these chargers. I love them. I really like how, you know, you can really see everything what these chargers do. That's what you're paying for. And it also teaches you a lot. So really, really well-built charger. I love them. It's completely aluminum. It's not the smallest thing, as you can see in my hand, uh, but totally worth it. So guys, I really had an awesome time doing this test slash review and well, definitely enjoy. I'm going to have a link in the description as well as the main comment section to purchase this. It's only $189. It is absolutely worth it. Keep in mind, I got two of these things and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, if that was cool, leave a like. I'll see you next time. <laughs>